Okay, so we got a new firmware update available. Firmware 0100.0701. So let's walk through installing this update. So the first thing you'll notice it says is it's 92.4 meg in size and that you want to ensure your battery levels and all the devices are at least 50% before uploading. Do not shut down the aircraft or leave the DJI GO 4 app during the update. Reconnect to Wi-Fi if connection's lost. And some of the things that are new um, with this is added the sphere panorama feature with the DJI GO 4 app for 1, 4.1.14 or higher. Added dynamic home point for active track and gesture modes with DJI GO 4 and app 4.14 I'm sorry, version 4.1.14 or higher. Low battery return to home with no longer, will no longer trigger automatically in gesture mode. Users can now save Wi-Fi frequencies and channel settings with DJI GO 4 app version 4.1.14 or higher. Improved firmware, update stability, improved security. And then some notes, restart the aircraft and remote controller when the update's complete. If the firmware update fails, restart the aircraft remote controller in DJI 4 or DJI Assistant 2, then try the update again. So let me just walk through the update with you. You can see exactly how easy this is. So we're going to download now. It's updating the firmware. My battery on my phone is fairly charged, 67%. And I just charged both of the batteries on my DJI Spark so they're fully charged because what you don't want to forget when you do these firmware updates is to make sure that you install all of your batteries into the DJI Spark. Each battery has got some intelligence in it that also needs the firmware updates. If you don't do the batteries you're gonna uh, get a notification um, when you take your take your Spark out for use for flight that there's an inconsistency in the firmware so you don't want to be caught in a position where you're out trying to fly the drone around and um, it requires a firmware update in the middle of a field somewhere. So make sure you do all your batteries, don't forget that, very important. So this is going to take a couple minutes. So it's 63%, 64% downloading, 72, 73, it's getting there. I'll probably just cut ahead to the video as soon as this downloads. Okay, 100%, there we go. Ensure your mobile device is connected to the aircraft via the remote controller, Wi-Fi before updating. Okay. So let me turn this guy on. There we've got the Spark remote controller. Okay, we're connected with the remote control unit. Flip back over to the app. Updating firmware. Okay, so it's updating. It's five, six percent updated. So just let that run. It's ten percent, so it's going to take a little while. Okay, so at that point, the software was installed successfully and you just wanna restart everything, your phone, your remote controller, your Spark. And you can go into your camera settings here once the application's installed and go to the uh, camera there, second one on the, from the left, go to your pano settings and you'll see underneath that the new option for this sphere, which you can shoot your spherical globe with. So 
wasn't too difficult to install, so good luck guys. And there'll be more to come about the actual uh, spherical globe shots once I have a chance to play with that as well.